Los Angeles Lakers versus Denver Nuggets. We talking media. A lot of people talking down on LeBron James for you losing yesterday. Okay. Um, I want to put things in perspective for you. All right. I just want to be honest with you guys. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. Yeah, I watch basketball, but the viewership in basketball, if you're not a basketball head, is bringing in a superstar that's universal and then watching him climb to the top and win. Okay. And LeBron James at this time is 40 years old. He's 40. Don't give me 39. He's playing at a high level, 30 points, 11 assists, 9 rebounds. His supporting cast, no offense, I know they're getting mad at D'Angelo Russell. Ain't not much more he can do. They're playing against four All-Stars. They weren't meant to win this series. Anthony Davis off and on injured, but great, great series here, 17 and 15. The point of the matter is, no matter how many wins the Nuggets get, no one really wants to see him. The fact is, let's be honest, they want to see LeBron James win the championship. Let's just call it what it is, guys. From a marketing perspective, from a universal face, you can't pitch a, a Jokic. You can't. All right, it's kind of why the heavyweight division in boxing, what's his name? Tyson Fury's trying to keep it alive. He's really trying. He's trying to keep it alive. All right? He's trying. He's still young. He's bald, but he's, you know, he's balding. So he looks older, but he's still a young guy. He's only 35 years old for, for boxing. He has a lot left in him, right? To about 40-something, maybe. But they can't keep it alive. Like, this fight here, we use it. Everyone's talking about it, but they're not, guys. They really aren't. They're talking about it, but they're not. They want to see Joshua. <laughs> yeah, you know where I'm going. They wanted this guy. They wanted this guy to be the face of boxing. All right? A little bit more exciting. A little bit more exciting in what he does. There was a time that Lomachenko, I used to go to the bars and shit because I'm a heavy boxing fan. I'll get back to basketball in a second. There's a guy named Vasily Lomachenko. A lot of people don't know who he is. One of my favorite boxers. Okay, Extreme talent. Extreme talent. You missed him in his peak, his prime. Okay, It was a shame. He had a prime and it, he was unbelievable. I understand, understand the competition was a little bit lesser. Um, but... It was definitely a, a, a fighter that you would want to go see and watch. I would go to the bars, my dudes, in St. Pete, uh, Florida. And I'd sit in a bar on a Central, okay? And I'd be the only one in there to say, hey, can you turn the channel to ESPN? Uh, Vasily Lomachenko's fighting. You hear me? Do you hear me? I had to tell them to turn the fight fucking on. Okay? He's a foreign superstar. Doncic is a foreign. Doncic may be the only one who can cross over. But Doncic's a foreign superstar. Jokic, a foreign superstar. Giannis, a foreign superstar. Yeah, it hurts. I know. I said it was a takeover of Europeans over here. But it's a takeover in the skill set. In the ability to win. It's not take a takeover from a marketing perspective. The reason being is I believe there's a language barrier, there's a culture barrier, and it just cannot relate. It's hard to cross these guys over. I mean, they're killing it in Europe, I bet. I bet in Europe they're killing it. But, you know, Anthony Joshua spoke English. There was the opportunity. All right? Canelo has a big enough country where he can just lean on the fucking support of Mexico all day long. Mexico's love boxing. So he can lean in on Mexico for all his sales. He doesn't even need to speak English. But when a guy like uh, Luka Doncic and, and, and Jokic come over to the U.S., yes, they're great skill sets. They're probably some of the best, if not top 10 players in the NBA right now. Let's call it what it is. All right? Jokic is number one. Got to call it what it is just because of, of, of him winning. Yes, and he has a de definitely has four All-Stars. Ja Jamal Murray is not getting enough credit. The guy's a superstar at Canada. But I don't see much from Jamal Murray, Murray from a marketing perspective. I don't know how you market Jamal Murray, but this guy right here, everybody complaining about and talking shit about James. Listen, man, the reason why we here is to watch this man play. He's 40. Don't worry. He's 40. We hit. That's why he's worth one point two billion dollars. The reason why we here, the reason why we watching is for this man right here. All right. He's marketable. It's becoming. A lot harder to market these NBA plays. Um, and, 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 and Edwards is another guy that they're trying to bring to the forefront. He's going to have to make some inroads on um, making him the face of the basketball league. Okay. 
Um, he definitely has all the features. Right? He cut the hair. He's doing a lot of different things here. I believe that's from a marketing perspective. He has all the features. He may, this may be the next guy to take the crown. I'm just talking marketing, guys. I'm not talking about skill set. I'm not talking about skill set. I'm talking about marketing. Smaller market, though, in the Timberwolves market. Who else is out there, guys? They don't have no one else to take this mantle. That is the problem with the NBA. That's why I think the NBA and Donald Silver or Silver are going to be paying LeBron James money, some money on the side. They will jab this son if they need to. Sir, we cannot lose you. We don't have no one else yet. Now, this guy, he speaks English. He has a little bit of swag to him. El Frenchy. El Frenchy. This may be the opportunity for the league. El Frenchy. Because he's an enigma. He speaks English. I know it was a fake ad, but he talks a little bit of shit. Okay. You know, I've seen him more than I've seen Jokic already. <laughs> I've seen him more than I've seen Jokic. Okay. And Doncic. Who else? Trey Young was there. They're trying to bring Trey Young. Trey, once had, Trey Young had a bad season. All right. That's why they're relating on guys like Jimmy Butler and all these old names. They, let me tell you who they're praying for right now. I'm going to be straight up. And Kyrie's there too, no doubt about it. But he's not marketable like that. He's not marketable on a scale with LeBron James. They don't have nothing. They are praying to God that this team right here beats the Mavericks. <laughs> they are praying that the old guard, the, the few old men from the LA Clippers, with no legs left, is able to win the championship, is, is able to go to a championship run. They're praying for it. They're praying for it. Please, please, guys. I know your legs are shot. Your knees are gone. There's nothing left in you. Please, please get us there. James Harden. These are guys that have a little bit more international marketability. Yes, Americans just got the swag. I'll say it. I'll say it. That's why everyone went to go see you, Fury. They wanted to see Wilder. We got the swag. We set the trends. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. The proof is in the numbers. They wanted to see Deontay. I knew Deontay wasn't going to win that fight. I knew it. I didn't think he had a shot in hell to win that fight. They wanted him to win so bad, they put him against this nigga three times. Sorry, God. They said, please be the one time, Deontay. Give us one win. They brought storylines around it. Mayweather, marketable. Marketable, yes. People love, you know, the environment I came from. They love it, man. The suburban kids love it and everything. When the rap comes, you know, I grew up in the environment, so I can't fake it on, on what I am, okay? I can fake being something else and be nice because I'm a different environment. You have to be a salesman in life sometimes because other people cannot handle it. And by the way, you can't even act like that because, you you know, you, something will happen to you, a.k.a. jail. <laughs> So you can't do what you want to do anyway. So you have to be different in different environments. But that's who they want. They want May Mayweather's name is still in there. He's still there. They're still talking about Mayweather. Crawford trying to make the transition, but never really has. Never really has, guys. Never really has. What about your boy Javante? He's starting to get his public speaking up. If he continues, he's starting to be more mild. I'm seeing a lot of things from Javante. There's a potential chance that Javante can come back over because he's talking shit to Garcia and all that. He's getting a little bit more swaggy poo in the interviews and the press conferences. He's starting to learn the game. He's starting to learn they got to hate me to love me. <laughs> and in the NBA right now, as I'm seeing the old guard go away. I don't think I'm going to watch the playoffs. So I'm a basketball head, so I watch it. But I don't, is there anyone that I really want to see? I mean, I mean, you're gonna, we're going to be relying on the Boston Celtics and the two boys there. Tatum and the other dude. But they don't really got it like LeBron. All right? The excitement is not there like LeBron. There's not one of that excitement like LeBron in there. The guy was tremendous. He, he motivates you. He's 40 years old playing with these guys, guys. He's 40 years old. Who else you want to see in the playoffs if you're not a basketball head? I mean, Rick Brunson Jr. is talking a little trash. Who? I mean, who do you want to see? It, it's now become like NCAAs right now because there's no it factor. It's just, okay, who's the better team and, that, and that's who wins. Oh, good job, guys. They don't give a shit. They want to see LeBron James. They want to see Kawhi. They want to see one superstar bring this shit to the top, guys. 
So as you talk trash and just just look at the viewership numbers, it's probably steady or headed down. Steady or headed down. As you guys talk trash about LeBron and all that, I gotta say I'm looking to this this picture here. Who's going to take it next? Is it Bonchero? Is it you know Paolo? Is it is it is it Don Mitchell? Is it, is it Shade Gill? I mean, I'm looking at this. I mean, Luca talks trash a little bit. That may be the only opportunity. That may be the only opportunity. As the old guard goes away, guys, there is no new guard, and that's the problem. There is new, no new regime to take the mantle anymore. Your boy Mikey signed off. LeBron loses, but so does the NBA. Peace.